All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So just got done shooting some hoops, come to the car, check out my phone, and I see that Larry Ogunjobi, former Brown, former Bengal, defensive tackle, by the way, has been visiting the Jets. For, he's been visiting the Jets for the past two days. Are you kidding me? Came out of left field. It, nobody reported this up until like, you know, an hour ago here. Absolutely crazy stuff. And funny enough, I actually posted a video a couple days ago talking about uh, three potential free agents that the Jets uh, could possibly look at. Number one was Jaqueski Tart. Number two was uh, linebacker, former St. Quan Alexander. Had a solid season for what he was paid. He only signed a one-year contract worth $1.1 million uh, a season ago and you know started in a handful of games, played in, I believe, 12 games overall. Uh, anyway, and the third guy was Larry Ogunjobi. And I, I remember saying in that video that Larry Ogunjobi was, to me, the... Uh, or I, I guess another way to word it, the other two were, were more realistic in my opinion because Larry Okunjobi, although he is a great, great player, put up in, you know in, insane stats, insane pass rushing stats from the interior of the defensive line a season ago uh, but, and started all 16 games too, by the way, uh, he failed his physical. Him and the Bears reached a long-term agreement for, it, it was a sizable deal. It wasn't just some you know minor one-year, $5 million deal. No, not in the least. Chicago really wanted Larry, but uh, he fails the he fails the physical. Okay, and nobody really knows. Well, I, I guess you know uh, the higher ups know what uh, what know what went wrong, but the fans don't. Okay, so we don't know why the physical was failed, but. In the video, I was basically, and I'll, I'll try to find it and leave it linked down below in the description box uh, where I went into more detail about his statistics and everything like that. But really the gist was to take a guy in Larry Okunjobi, who's a, who's a legit, he, he, I mean, he's a legit pass, uh, pass rushing threat from the inside to pair him up next to Quinn and Williams and have Carl Lawson coming back from injury and assuming Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Johnson does in fact look like a first round pick off the edge this defensive line could seriously be one of the best in the entire in the entire league that's not a stretch to say by no means now as far as you know potential contract is concerned you know this is where it gets a little interesting because again he initially or planned to sign a pretty big deal. I believe it was a three-year contract worth somewhere in the $40 million range. I could be wrong on that. I don't have the exact number on me, um, but I mean, it, it was a, it was a solid deal. So, you know, if all of a sudden he is good to go on the fit on, you know, with, with the uh, you know, passing the physical and everything like that, would he be getting a similar style of deal or because it's, you know, it, it's, past the first couple ways of free agency it's past the draft would he sign for a little bit cheaper that's really the big question mark here anyway let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section larry Ogunjobi visiting supposedly visiting the, the the new york jets the past two days crazy crazy stuff here anyway let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section thanks so much for watching and as always go jets